Hey Church, hope you're all doing well. My name is Andy Flynn and I'm part of the Sheffield campus. But I just wanted to share some thoughts with you today regarding uh, life-giving relationships and it's my absolute pleasure to be able to do this with you today. I want to start with a couple of Bible verses from Romans 12 and verses 4 to 5. And it says this, just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. Question for you. Did you love playing with Lego when you were a kid? Of course, other building blocks are available. If you're honest, you might admit that you still love playing with Lego now, even as an adult. And the possibilities of creation with those Lego bricks are limited only by the imagination of the builder. If you consider a single Lego block, it does not seem that important all by itself. However, just as you try to finish a Lego masterpiece without that one particular shaped block that you cannot find, and you will soon discover the importance of every single block to that creation. Now the body of Christ, which is known as the church, is just like Lego. God did not intend for us to live life alone. In fact, we go right back to the beginning of the Bible in Genesis when God created Adam. He also created Eve because God's life plan for us was not to be alone. And as the Bible verses we read said, we all belong to each other. So God created this church, the body of Christ, to connect with one another. And he also designed us to be the most effective when we're in a life-giving relationship or relationships with other believers. You see, the church is not the church without its people. And when we connect with other people, endless possibilities of what we can do for Christ arise because we are all fashioned by God, the great builder. And his imagination has absolutely no limits. Now, without these relationships with members of my church family, I would not be where I am today. The alternative, to be honest, does not bear thinking about. I've been through some great challenges in my life, both with family, with work situations, financially. And once I'd come to Jesus and, and joined the church, those relations I built with the people in my church, the church family, those people surrounded me, they laid hands on me, they protected me, they were there to listen, they were there to advise, and I'm absolutely sure that without those life-giving relationships that I've built with my church family, my life would be so different. So guys, here's my encouragement for you today. Connection and fellowship are important to your Christian life. All around you in the body of Christ's church are people just like you who want to connect. So send that text, make that call, invite someone for a coffee, invite somebody around for a bite of lunch or some dinner. Make those connections with other people that will bring you great joy as you continue to serve the Lord and build those life-giving relationships. Have a great day, church, whatever you're doing. God bless you all.